So today what we want to do for you guys is give you guys your top three breeds that you're going to want for your backyard chickens. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Tom. This is Acres of Adventure Homestead. And what we wanna do for this video for you guys is tell you guys your top three chickens that you want for your backyard flock. If you're just starting off having chickens, this is a good video to see. because This video is based off our personal flock that we have. So we're giving you the top three that we own and I think all flocks should have these three chickens. But that also means that there's some breeds that we have not owned. We're basing this off of our own experiences. Is it wouldn't really make it right if I talked about, oh, get this breed and we don't even own them. So these are three chickens that we have here that we enjoy. And then we'll kind of get into the other ones as well. So let's get started here. Number three. So coming in at number three on our personal list is the Buff Orpington. This is Chickadee. We actually have two of them, they're both named Chickadee because they're a five-year-old. The Buff Orpingtons are great chickens. The reason that we like them so much here on our flock is, number one, they're very kid-friendly. Uh, the only thing that they do sometimes is just like that. They just peck. And it's just like a hi, say hi here, or just taste to see, is that food or is it not? Um, I think it's in their nature to eat a little bit more. They're a dual purpose breed. So dual purpose for chicken means that you're either gonna raise them for meat or you're gonna raise them just to lay eggs. And this is a good breed to do for both. The Buff Orpington as well is a good layer, very constant layer, lays a nice light brown egg. Uh, we have a good variety of eggs here, but she might be the only one that lays the light brown for us. We do like having the variety of egg colors to choose from here. Are you gonna peck me? As you can see right now, they're very easy to hold. Like I said, because they're friendly, so that's a nice thing if you're gonna have kids that are gonna be dealing with these chickens. At least one of our Buff Orpingtons as well is a very broody hen. She likes to sit on her legs a little bit longer other than the other chickens that we have, so if you're looking for to hatch out your own chicks, this one would make a good mama. They are very constant layers, which is good. Uh, people online say that they can lay up to about 250 eggs for the year, and that's a really good number for a chicken. A lot of the lower ends are gonna lay around 200, so anything that you can get around that 250 range, that's a good chicken to have. Our only big downfall about these chickens, and it's probably not that big of a downfall, is she does those little pecks when you least expect it, will just come behind you and peck at you. But like I say, it's not a mean, it's not a bite, it's more like a, just like a little, like, hey, what's going on? They're a little loud. Uh, when they sing their egg song, when they've just laid an egg, it's a very loud egg song. So, But the Buff Orpington is definitely one that you want to have for your flock. A really good chicken. All right, chickadee, you've done your job. You can go down. And now coming in at number two, the Rhode Island Red. The reason that we enjoy the Rhode Island Red, this is not what we thought. We have two of them, and when we first had them, they used to not want to be held by us. They used to be as far as away from the rest of the flock, actually, even as possible when they were growing up. Um, they still don't want to be held as much, so I'm probably not going to hold Rosie here for the whole entire time. They definitely love the company, and Rosie here is our character. I'm going to put you down because you don't want to be held as much. Okay. Go down. Funny thing, she came back, and that kind of gives me to my first point. She loves to follow us, don't you? And it's so funny. She'll follow us around the whole yard just like she's a dog. And then when we go inside the house, she's the first one. All right, now she wants to go down. She's the very first one to want to poke her head in our back window, or even she'll look in through our deck patio door, kind of looking at us inside the house, almost like she wants to come in the house. And I'm sure she would be the first one to jump in our house if I could choose one chicken that wants to live with us inside the house. It would definitely be her. It's another friendly breed. She does really good with the rest of the flock members for the most part. I've seen her do a little bit of pecking at other ones. I think she's more of a dominant breed of hens, and they do say with the roosters, so we don't have a rooster, but I've heard that the roosters for a Rhode Island Red can be a little extra aggressive than normal roosters, so just a thing to think of here before you add to your flock and say that you wanted to get a rooster for one. Sorry, if you can't hear me, she's the one talking down below me really loud. That's another thing, just like the Buff Orpington, but not, but her especially is even louder. If you don't want the loudest chickens, 
Rhode Island Reds are on our list for one of the loudest chickens that we have. They like to make a lot of noise the whole time, and I don't know if it's saying hi, they're begging for food, I don't know what they're doing. They make a lot of noise. Just like the Buff Orpingtons also, they're really good layers, so they'll lay eggs for you pretty constant. They're a heritage breed, so they've been around for a very long time. They'll lay almost even 280 eggs per year, so if you're looking for eggs, definitely want to add one of these to the flock. They lay a brown egg, not dark, dark brown, but it's definitely a darker brown than what the Buff Orpington is. Your Rhode Island Red's gonna give you a nice color brown for your egg baskets if you're looking for a variety. They're a hardy breed as well, so they're gonna last during any kind of temperature for cold or hot. No need to fear if you have below freezing temperatures. We do here in Michigan, so don't be afraid. The Rhode Island Red will get you through those times. So it's another good chicken to last the thing. So Rosie, our Rhode Island Red, is the reason why we put it up to number two here on our list. And now we gotta get you guys to our number one. Before I give you guys the number one though, we'll go through a few of the other chickens that we own here so you can kind of see what you guys are kind of up against and what other ones we have. So here's Snowflake. Snowflake is a barred rock and she was one of my favorite chickens actually. Probably was gonna be my favorite chicken before, but she is our loudest chicken. So barred rock market is loud here, at least for us, for Snowflake here. When everyone else was laying, we never caught her in the nesting box. So I still ever caught her in the nesting box. So I think she was one of our latest layers. I'm thinking she's not the best constant layer for us, but I've heard other people say how good of a breed they are. And I don't know if it's because we don't have two of them. Maybe if we had a second one that it would kind of work out better. I wonder if we should have got all of them in pairs. She's definitely not the best layer out of our group and she's super loud and normally she doesn't let me hold her. She used to, that's why she was my favorite. She's really not the best for holding. And it's not that she's not friendly, she's actually quite friendly. Uh, the kids can't go over and see her, she'll move away before she can even get by. So that's why she didn't make our top three, but still another good breed. A lot of people have good things to say about the Bard Rock, so don't just take our word for it. It might be one that's perfect for you. See you later, Snowflake. All right, I gotta make this one quick. This is Alfredo. This is the one that I named. Chelsea doesn't like the name of it. I'm gonna have to put her down, like I said, quicker. She definitely doesn't like being held by us. Alfredo is one of our mean hens, and she's ready to go down. She's a sapphire gem, and for some reason, she's the one that's kind of the top of the pecking order of our group. She'll definitely be the one that'll peck the hens the most and will not show us really much attention. Doesn't show us attention, is a little bit meaner to the other chickens more than the other ones, I guess. Doesn't really give us much to like. She's a good layer. Uh, she is the one that will lay first thing in the morning and was our one that was definitely our most consistent of we knew when she was gonna lay and have that egg. Like I said, we can't hold her. The kids, it doesn't really work out with well. Of all the chickens is the meanest chicken to the other chicks. The Sapphire Gem did not make our list. So coming in at number one, I've said this in plenty of my vlogs, so if you haven't seen any in the previous before clicking this video, but it's the Americana. This is Sunny. Sunny is my favorite chicken of all of them. So for one, Sunny likes to kind of follow us, but still keeps a small distance, but will always be willing to be picked up and held, which is great. She's perfect with the other chickens. She's great with us. So that's a good thing. Another friendly chicken, and this is a great friendly chicken. I've never seen Sunny or her sister, who's actually down here. That's Goldilocks. I've never seen them peck at another flock member the whole time we've had them. So they're not mean to the other chickens. They have great temperaments. And also they are super friendly to us. I can pick Sunny up and carry Sunny around the whole yard for an hour, I bet, and she wouldn't say anything. Well, of course she wouldn't say anything. She's a chicken, but you know what I mean. She is a very, very broody hen. Sunny here will go and hide her eggs and lay in opposite spots, which some people won't like, but we love the fact of how broody she'll be. So when we wanna hatch out our own chickens, we know that we can trust her to be a good mom and sit on her eggs. And that's a great quality for a chicken to have. She actually laid our very first egg we ever got is a pretty good layer. They're not known for being constant layers. So they usually lay a little bit more than 200 a year. But I would say that she's definitely one of our top layers. I mean, I think she lays almost every single day sometimes, it seems like. So she seems to be better for us, but just so you that you know, if you're looking for a lot of eggs, our Americana might not be on there. They're actually known more as a rare chicken. We feel like when we go to a lot of the stores, I actually see Americanas quite a bit actually. So 
I don't see them as as rare, but they are they definitely give you a nice look compared to a lot of the chickens. They have different faces, they have poofy cheeks, and they have a lot of colors compared to a normal chicken. They're also super quiet. Like I said before, with our Buff Orpington and Rhode Island Red that were on this list, who actually make a little bit more noise. And actually, all of our chickens we have make quite a bit of noise. These guys never make a peep, it sounds like. They literally just walk around, do their own business, and we don't even hear them. So that's definitely a plus for somebody who, once you hear chickens and you walk with them a lot, sometimes their noise can get a little annoying. Sunny here makes no noise, and Goldilocks doesn't either, so that's a win there. And the coolest thing about an Americana they lay blue eggs. Bluish is what they say. It's like an off greenish blue, but it's definitely blue, and that is definitely one of the things that people like about these guys. It'll give color to your egg basket, and what's not to like all about that? And there you have the top three breeds that we own that we feel like every backyard flock should own. So Buff Orpington, Rhode Island Red, and Americana. If there was people who asked me what kind of chickens they think they should start out with, those would be three that I would list quickly right off the top of my head without any kind of thinking. That's how great these three chickens have been for our flock. So for anyone who's looking to get more chickens or you're just starting out your flock, and hopefully this helped you guys pick out what kind of chickens you're gonna want, have a good time with those chickens. Don't forget just to have fun with them. These chickens are like our pets. We love them. We love seeing them, being around them. They like being around us. A lot of people think, oh, just chickens. They're not just chickens. They act just like if someone had a really close dog or cat in their life. They have that kind of personality that you would not have thought. But these chickens are fun to be around. So thank you guys for tuning in, and you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you in the next vlog.